Hi, I'm Kitty Couric, and welcome to Eye to Eye. Just over a year ago, singer Cheryl Crow was diagnosed with breast cancer. Since then, she's been working with the National Breast Cancer Coalition to raise awareness. She talked with The Early Show's Harry Smith about her struggle against the disease. What's the most important thing you've learned since your diagnosis? Um, I really think it caused a shift in my life, but also... Um, there's an amazing community of women out there who have this common experience and they seem to find each other. And um, I've had such amazing opportunities through my relationship with Ron Perlman at Revlan and now with the National Breast Cancer um, Coalition, even just being here in Washington and getting to um, work on getting a bill passed that will, it's called the Breast Cancer um, and Environmental Research Bill, just to, to try to create a system where we can be testing the environment to see what kind of effect it has on breast, breast cancer specifically now, but hopefully we'll create a model for right. um, finding out how it's going to affect all other diseases. Right, because certainly I'm aware from your website and some emails that you and I have sent back and forth uh, over the last year, mm -hmm. you have changed a lot of what you put into your own body as a result of what you learned about cancer. Absolutely, and I think we're at a point now where we're all very aware that the environment is having a a monstrous effect on on everything in our daily lives and it, it really can't be de denied but instead of throwing money at uh, every little question that comes along herbicides pesticides the air it, we need to find a strategy through competitive funding competitive grants um, and figure out what the right questions are, mm. uh, what questions are we asking, how do we answer them, create some sort of model and not to take money out of the lab but to actually create more funding um, for research to go into the area right. of environment as and well. On the front side. Um, your own yeah. personal reaction to have gone through uh, cancer so publicly in the last year and then just in the last week mm -hmm. or so to see what's happened with Elizabeth Edwards, with, with Tony Snow. When you see those news stories, what, what goes through your own heart? Oh, you know, I, I think that really is what brings it, brings it right back into our homes is when somebody that you feel so deeply connected, connected to, like Elizabeth um, and Tony as well. And uh, it, for all of us cancer survivors, you have that immediate pang of, oh my gosh, I wonder if that's going to happen with me, if my cancer's going to come back, um, if it exists in my body somewhere else. And I, I think it's a perfect argument for the urgency about this. You know, mm. I know that we're in a war and we have a lot of funding going towards this, but um, the statistic of, of cancer in, in our country alone is mind-boggling. And why, why farm it out to other countries who are doing the research? It's time that we really be a leader in this field and, and not rest on our laurels. Yeah. You know, the, the statistics of those who, um, who, who don't make it through their cancer struggle, it's, it, it, yeah. we, we can't be confident it's, about all the women who do live. Yeah. So. It's very sobering stuff. No degrees of separation yeah. when, it comes to, when it comes to cancer. It's in everybody's family exactly. and everybody's life.